Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to take a look at tally charts and bar graphs. Come see what I have on the table. Okay, let's take a look at this page first. At the top it says, the picture shows the different things Bella sees in a pond. So this is the data we have. We see that, she's, that Bella sees fish and frogs and boats in a pond, but it's not really organized. We can't tell very quickly how many of each there are. The directions say over here, count the things Bella sees, complete the tally chart, then fill in the blanks. So let's see how to make a tally chart. They've already organized it for us. It says things here. We've got frog, paper, boat, fish. We've got tally, this is where we'll make our tally marks, and then this is where we'll write our number. So let's check the pond for how many frogs there are. I see one, two, three, four. So when we make tally marks, we just draw a line for each, like that, one, two, three, four. And then when we make the number, we write the number four. Now paper boats, let's take a look. One, two, three. I see three paper boats. So let's draw three tally marks for paper boats and then write the number three. Now for fish, let's take a look. I see one, two, three, four, five. And whenever you're making tally marks for five, you make four, one, two, three, four, but then your fifth goes diagonally across like that. So that's a group of five. Let's take a look at the sentences. There are blank fish. Well, we can look at our tally marks, we can look at our number, but it would be too confusing to go back up here and look at this data. So let's look where it's organized here. Fish, five. There are five fish. There is blank fewer paper boat than frogs. So we've got to compare two things here. We've got paper boat, and we've got frogs. So here's paper boats and here's frogs. And we're looking for how many fewer. That means how many less. So paper boats, let's see, there are three in the pond. Frogs, there are four. Well, we know that four take away one equals three. That means there's one fewer or one less paper boats than frogs. There are blank frogs and fish in all. Well, we've seen that in all before, but we gotta be careful, boys and girls, because this is not everything in the pond. It's only saying there are blank frogs and fish. So we're gonna look at the frogs and the fish only, not at the number of paper boats for this. So there are five fish, four frogs, five plus four, makes nine. There are nine frogs and fish in all. Okay, let's try something different. This time we have a tally chart made for us and we're going to make a bar graph from that data, from that information. Let's see what it says. The tally chart shows how Richard's friends go to school. So there are different ways. Some kids go by bus, some by bicycle, some by car. Here are the numbers as tallies, and here are the numbers as regular numbers. So five kids take the bus to school, two kids or two of Richard's friends go by bicycle to school, and four of his friends go in the car. Let's see what it says. Make a bar graph, then answer the questions. Now in a bar graph, there's always a title across the top to tell us what the bar graph is showing us. This title says Ways of Going to School. And then there's titles on the two sides like this. This title says Ways. So we've got our three ways on this side, bus, bicycle, and car. And then this side is for our numbers, number of friends. Now to make a bar graph, we've got to make the bars. So let's take a look at the tally chart and transfer that data to the bar graph. Five friends go on the bus. So let's find the five, and then here's the bar for the bus. So five, I'm gonna draw kind of a stop line right there. That's gonna be my bar 
for the bus. In fact, I think I'll color that so we can see it better. So let's make that number a green bar. Now let's take a look at bicycle. There's The number is two, so two friends. Okay, so let's look down at the numbers two, and here's the bar for bicycle. Now this graph leaves a little space in between the bars, so I'll make sure not to color that. How about we do bicycle in orange, and then we can see that bar better. And then finally, car. Well, it looks like four of his friends go in the car. So let's find the number four. Let's go up to the bar for car. I'm gonna put that little stop line there, and I'll draw the, the sides, the outline, to help me do my coloring. And then let's make that bar pink. So four friends go by car. Now let's answer the questions. How many friends go to school by car? Well, easy peasy, we just take a look at the graph. There's the end line for car at the four. So four friends go by car. How many more friends go to school by bus than by bicycle? So we've got to look at two things and compare them, bus and bicycle, and see how many more are on the bus. Well, let's compare our bars. So here's where the bar for bicycle finishes at two, and here's the bar for bus finishes at five. So this difference here, these missing parts, that's how many more are on the bus. So I see one, two, three of those squares. So three more friends go to school by bus than by bicycle. Let's try this one. How do most of Richard's friends go to school? So what's the way that has the most kids taking it? Well, we can see right away on a bar graph, the longest bar is for the bus. Now this answer is not a number. This is an answer that, is, that needs a word. So we need to write bus. How do most of Richard's friends go to school? Bus, on the bus. Now let's take a look at something a little different. This time we have to make a tally chart and we have to make a bar graph. Here's our data up here, our information, but it's not organized. It's all mixed up. Let's see what it says. The picture shows the different animals in a pet shop. Okay, count the number of animals. Complete the tally chart then make a bar graph. Okay, so here our tally chart is made for us. We just need to fill it in. Animals here, tally marks here, numbers here. Kitten, okay, I take a look up here and I'm gonna cross them off as I count them so I don't forget any of them or I don't count any of them two times. One kitten, two kittens, three kittens. Yep, that's all I see. So I'm gonna make three tally marks and make the number three here. Puppy, well, let's see. I see one little puppy over here and I see one over here. That's all of them. Okay, so that gets two tally marks for puppy and the number two. Parrot, okay, I see one, two, three. I see three parrots, yep, I got them all. So three tally marks and the number three here and goldfish. Oh, they have their own little bowls. One, two, three, four. I see four goldfish, four tally marks, and the number four. Now let's make our bar graph. Remember, there's always a title at the top, animals in a pet shop. So that's what this graph is telling us about. And there's always a title on this side and down here. The title on this side says animals, and here are the four animals, kitten, puppy, parrot, goldfish, and down here it says number of animals. So here are our numbers. So we want to make sure we do this bar graph very carefully. There are three kittens in this pet shop. So I'm gonna go down to my number three. I'm gonna go over to my kitten, my bar here for the kittens, wherever they meet, right here. I'm gonna draw that little end line and outline my bar, and I'm gonna 
just shade that with my pencil like that. Okay. Now puppy, I see the number two on our tally chart. So we go down to two. We go over to the puppy bar here like this. There's our end line. Let's draw our outlines. And we don't have to use different colors. We can just shade like that with our pencils. We can still see it. It stands out. Now parrots, there are three parrots. Here's the bar for parrots. Here's the number three. Let's draw our end line there, our outlines. Okay, and we'll shade. And then goldfish, there are four in the pet shop. That one, there are the most of any animals. There are the most goldfish. So let's find our number four here. Let's outline that bar. And let's shade. Okay, boys and girls, we finished our bar graph and our cha tally chart. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for helping me. I'll see you next time. Bye, boys and girls.